I don't settle. I'm not made that way. Apex Season 5's here, and Lobo along with it. I'm here with Jordan. Hello. Here to talk about the newest teleporting thief. She's got a couple tricks up her sleeve that you might not know about, and uh, we're gonna break down her tactical, passive, and ultimate as well. Well, let's get straight into it. How does she work? She's got her tactical, which is called Burglar's Best Friend. She uses her bracelet with something called a jump drive to teleport to the throne bracelet's location. Similar to most projectile abilities and grenades, you can hold down the button to get the arc to see where it's thrown. Now you can make that trip a little bit shorter by hitting the trigger button in the midair. It won't teleport you into the air, but it will drop you down on the ground where you told it to stop. This tactical has some nuances to it too from the get-go. When you first pick up Loba and start throwing that bracelet around, it seems pretty slow animation-wise. This teleporting ability is a really slow startup, slow recovery time, it's loud, it's very visible, and because of this, it's just super punishable from beginning to end. It's really scary to just throw out there. But at the same time, like Loba is a support character, so I don't really expect her to have as quick of a way to get in and out of a fight as, say, Octane or Wraith. So I understand why people are a little annoyed by how long it takes for her to use her tactical. But I mean, if you use it more as a supportive method, like trying to get behind someone in the middle of a fight or like get a higher ground so that you can aid your teammates by like sniping someone in the back it's really really good it really is and like you said like it's mostly for position advantage and this is not a panic button you just hit mid fight because you will die it should be used behind cover into another covered area or advantageous area at least but I do have a couple things that you should know to keep your survival chances a little higher oh you want to know that bracelets can be thrown off of zip lines so it can be a little bit more mobile uh, you can close doors still, so you can get some extra cover. You can jump still, and you can slide still, which means you can jump slide, and you can throw in a bunny hop too. So there's just like a couple things that just make it a little bit harder for you to get hit, which is obviously very useful. And then also on the other end, this is more for high level players, but you can cancel that long recovery by climbing onto a wall and then flicking to the next enemy. It saves like half a second, which is big in an apex gunfight and could win you the gunfight possibly. Yeah. And you do want to do that, like, I don't know, like, the specifics of, like, pixel count and stuff like that, but Loba is kind of on the taller side. She's definitely at least, if not taller, than Bangalore. Like, Lifeline, Watson, and Wraith all take more damage. So you kind of want to make Loba as small as possible while you're waiting for her tactical to get to the spot that it needs to go because you're not as tiny as a target as her fellow legends are. Yeah, in Apex, you just want to be as hard to hit as possible, obviously, mm. and any advantage you can make to get your hitbox harder to hit, you should take. As of right now, she's the first legend that can go through windows and door cracks and other small places. Uh, this by itself is probably one of the best things about her. You really think of traversing buildings in a whole new way. Situations like if you're holed up somewhere and you need to get in, or you need to get out of a building that you're trapped in, it's super clutch. I mean, it's not working all the time right now as at the beginning of Season 5, but when it does work, it's so satisfying. Reloading. Come on. I still need you. So obviously, you have this tactical ability that allows Loba to cover a lot of ground fairly quickly, but she probably need some place to go and that's where her passive comes in eye for quality which allows loba to see where purple and gold items are through walls and even ping them if she's like within i want to say like 15 to 20 meters you have to actually be fairly close to ping stuff through walls but it's still pretty cool and the fact that you can just kind of at a glance know where purple and gold stuff is is most helpful for me when I'm trying to like outrun the zone and I'm like I only have a moment to like see which of these bins I can open before I have to keep going. Yeah it is a huge time saver instead of you sifting through all these buildings looking for the good stuff. Unfortunately it's fairly hard to tell what items are at a distance but at least you have a general idea of what it is priority wise to grab first around you. But for the most part it's fairly straightforward. I mean, I think really like its best use is for her ultimate ability like Black Market Boutique because you can see all of the gold and purple items that are in the current range of your ultimate before you place it down. It is a pretty cool ultimate. Anything within its circular radius will just be grabbable for you. You throw down a Black Market, at that point it's a bit of a startup to once it actually deploys, but then you can just grab any two items within that range. 
Now, a couple of things to note, it is really loud and has a very visible radius, so enemies might come run into you once you pop that. But besides that, it's absolutely worth it because it just condenses your local loot pool into like just the best stuff that you want first, which is really, really important. This ultimate almost makes it feel like Lifeline's ultimate is obsolete because it's like the same essential thing of trying to get really nice loot, but you have a choice of what you're picking up and you can use it a lot more quickly than calling in a lifeline care package there's just been so many opportunities where like my teammates and i have just seen an ult like charge station used it with loba because we see like there's a lot of stuff around and just thrown down the ult immediately looted everything and then just picked up the black market and gone on our way afterwards like it's it's so good for outfitting your squad as quickly as possible. A good practice to have with Black Market is to literally close up shop when you're done, because just like Revenant's Totem, Black Market can be used by enemies too, so you want to wrap it up when you and your team are done. I would say Black Market is so good, I almost worry that Respawn will nerf it in some capacity in future updates, but for now I'm just enjoying the ride that it provides. I mean, its utility is super cool. Like, two situations I got was to use it as a portable armor swap station, so mm -hmm. I just grabbed two armors in the middle of a gunfight and used that to my advantage and it just worked out perfectly and I won. And then also as a third party steal situation as well, because a black market updates live, any new loot dropped will show up immediately into your black market. So one time I just stuck around the edge of a fight, dropped my ultimate, grabbed the gold items as they were dying, and just dipped out with the gold <laughs> stuff, which was really funny and it worked out perfectly. I was by myself and there's no way I could have fought them by myself. So I just took all their goodies and left. And in those situations, black market is just really nifty. Yeah. As of right now, when it comes to Lobo's weaknesses, you should consider a bracelet one for sure. It's a major blessing and a major curse at the same time because you're just so vulnerable on both ends. It's just one of those things, one bad throw will give an opposing team like a solid second and a half of shooting at you before you're even able to fight back and depending on what gun they have that could really be all that they need. But besides that she's not bad at all. She has mobility and access to good loot all the time so she's really good. Mm -hmm. That being said she is really good on her own and she is a good legend to be on your team but I feel like she doesn't have any meshed team synergy with other legends like Caustic Watson, Mega Forts, or the Crypto Gibraltar Stun Barrage kind of thing. The only thing I would strategize with teammates is to help distract them in any way so you can close the gap safely. You can use this to pincer your enemy squads and just use it to great effect. Another squad down. Like you said, Loba's just she's just kind of there to help people get loot, which does help everyone, but it's not like oh, if you pair Loba with Wraith together, like both of them are really good or something. It's like, no, Loba's just pretty good to play with any of the other characters. So this makes her sort of hard to place her in any sort of tier, but that shouldn't drive your decision to use her because ignoring any tier list, she's super fun to play and that's the most important, I think. <laughs> and those are our thoughts on Loba. If you're looking to keep up with season five, whether it's Loba, the new battle pass, or the new story-based quest mode, be sure to stay tuned to GameSpot. That was the end of that squad.